Go, yes. So we are uh, we are talking about the X twenty eight uh, uh, situation, X twenty eight position, and uh, I just came in in a in a talk already. So uh, please fill me in as to uh, where you what you have been talking about and what you wh where you have arrived up till now. Okay, so we started off in Galatians. And we were discussing the difference between what is for Israel and what is for us. And we were starting to talk about justification. Okay. Because we both agreed that that is the nail in the coffin. If you establish what justification is, it proves that Romans is for us. So those who say that Rome, the, the book of Romans is for Israel or is not for us, that's proof that it is for us. Because yeah. if Israel was to be justified from their sins and not being un underneath the law, then their evangel makes no sense. Exactly. So that's where we, that's where we started off with. Okay. So another issue is identifying the ecclesia and whether it's the body of Christ or they're in Christ. We're talking about what Paul's talking in Galatia in verse 13. For you hear of my behavior once in Judaism that I inordinately persecuted the ecclesia of God and ravaged it. And then yeah. you come down, yet only they were hearing that me, about me, what they were hearing was he who, he who once was persecuting us now is evangelizing the faith which once he ravaged. What was the faith of that ecclesia? What was it? Identifying it. The, this is I'm being the devil's advocate in regard to how they're starting to misidentify what I'm seeing. But some things are written to the Jews, but with the goal of bringing in justification. Paul has a a, a, a purpose behind why he's addressing Jew first, then then the nation. So go ahead. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So true. To totally true. And ravaged through this story. But this was prior. This is prior yeah. to his conversion. So yeah. we're talking about yeah. time when he was persecuting the church. Yeah. So what was that church that he was persecuting? What so was this was the believers was the of Peter and things like this. So he was persecuting the faith of the evangel of the kingdom. Yeah. Right. That's, that's exactly. the faith that he was persecuting. Exactly. Uh, if but you... Say other, you know, yeah, but we know that, and so you have to identify exactly what yeah. it was. But there was an ecclesia made up of primarily of Jews. So now he's, uh, he's, he's coming into the Gentiles, the nations, because he talks about the nations in this letter. This is a great letter, man. And then he starts to distinguish between circumcision and uncircumcision. Because now Peter is just separating himself out. He didn't go to the apostles. He didn't go to those of reputation. He, God sent him out to Arabia. He went here and there. So so Paul recognized his independence from uh, Israel, the temple, the law, everything. Something He was being set apart. He was severed for the evangel. What evangel? Exactly. The evangel that God started giving him, yep. which was Gaiatasa, which was hugely different. And the question is, when was he when was he suffered for the evangel? In Acts thirteen. Acts thirteen, Acts verse 13. two. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that is not Acts twenty eight. So from Acts thirteen, no. verse two onwards, uh, the evangel of the uh, uncircumcision was started to be uh, heralded. That's the point. And if you go to 1 Timothy 1, verse 15 or 16, can you read it out loud? There you can see that Paul Paul calls him... Uh, uh, 1 Timothy 1, verse 15 or 16. Uh, I think it's verse 16. 16. Where yeah. Paul specifically says that he has become a uh, you could say a model or a pattern like right. and that is the prototype so that's the first one that is the first one so paul is also the first member of the body of christ this first proves it but therefore was i shown mercy that in me the foremost jesus christ should be displaying all his patience for a pattern of those who are about to be believing on him for life the only end. It's exactly. all his patience. It's all his yeah. patience. So it's unconditional love. It's unconditional grace. Exactly. It's not conditional. It's a big difference. Yes, that's so that's this, a huge so when difference. When was this letter written? When was this letter written in, in, a, in accord with that? 
Uh, this would be an early one. I, yeah. The second one was the last the, one that he wrote. So the first yeah. one was early. This is an early one, yes. One was, but the, the second one was the last one that he wrote. Yeah. Right. This first Timothy right. was was uh, was before Ephesians, so it was from okay. the early time. Uh, Titus so also. That, that proves that Romans and First Corinthians and Thessalonians is for us or to us. Yes, exactly. So, so Timothy was written before. Yes, so yes, but Thessalonia? Uh, uh, no, well, no, no. I think Thessalonians is the first one. They're the first. They're the yeah. First. They're the, they're sometimes, the yeah. Sometimes it is said that Galatians is the first one, but I think deliberately it has not been mentioned in Scripture. What is the chronological order of the of the letters? Why? Because it's not necessary. What is necessary is the order in which they are positioned in Scripture. That is necessary. That is important. Yeah, obviously that's the way God wanted it to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it's out of God, then this is what it is. Yes. It's not necessary because all of his letters from Romans to Philemon is to us. So we don't yeah. need to know, oh, he wrote Ephesians before Colossians or whatever. They're all to us. That's yes. what we need to know. That's, That's the, the point. Mission. Yes. It's the way people treat it as if, you know, they go chronologically in order. Right. And yeah. you get to Timothy, which is further on down. Now you're finding out that the pattern, he's the pattern, and he's establishing the pattern. Exactly. Why? I yeah. need to know that. I needed to know that back in uh, Romans in, in Thessalonica. Yeah. He's out. Mika. Go ahead, Mika. Go ahead, Nick. Um, I, I would say, though, that there is a um, advantage sometimes in um, looking at when the letters were written, because uh, even though all are written to the body of Christ, they go through different dispensations or administrations. So that is a good thing to recognize. Yeah, the like the in first Corinthians, that things the, change in Paul, yeah. Paul's letters, even though everything gifts. is written to us. Yeah, exactly. The With the, the spiritual gifts, like the gift of prophecy and the gift yeah. of speaking in tongues, yeah. like that. This is something I will address now in in this talk, because it is Go important it. to make a distinction within the. Uh, the I would say the growth of the body of Christ you could you could say that it's still very uh, helpful to make a distinction uh, on the basis still of X28 but it's not X28 that is not the right um, uh, I would say um, a nomenclature for that for that division I would say it's between the eight early letters of Paul and the five prison or uh, perfection letters of Paul. So that is the distinction. And there is a clear distinction. So uh, I propose to go through that because that's important. But it's, a, it, it's quite a lot. But let me, let me take a look. Uh, first of all, we are going to look at, well... Uh, Maybe I should even share my screen, but I don't know if that if I can do it. Uh, it might work. It might just be my connection, so it might work for you. But if it doesn't, then we can just read read it, and then we'll just. Do you have your it. camera turned off, Liam? Uh, maybe. Uh, Wait no. a minute. It's just because oh, you're. Go on, it's just. It's just because you're on a phone. Oh, okay. Because I can. I, I can see Fred and Peter, but I can't see you. It's because mm. I'm too. It's because Try I'm. Try turning your camera on and off. Sure. Right, I, I still can't see it. But okay. I can see all four of you. Three of you. Let's see. Maybe I can I can email it to you, Liam. I still wouldn't work. But you can oh. email it to me and, and, and I can read it because no yeah. one can share oh, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, well. and, I, and, I, and I tried on the different group there and it didn't work. So okay. I don't know what's happening. It must be yeah. Discord. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me try to uh, go right. through it and then. I will I will share it with you guys uh, whenever uh, applicable. All right. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the way how the nations are blessed, and I'm going to make a distinction between the early phase, that's the childhood phase of the body of Christ, versus the sonship phase of the body of Christ. That is the maturity phase in which we are now, since. I would say since Paul died, that was the real 
cut off moment since Paul died. That that's so when Paul was when Paul was in prison, then the the preparations were made by writing the letters, the perfection epistles, uh, for the time after his death. Then it would be really operational. That's how I just share my view. I just share my view. So um, the first one is nations have been blessed through Israel and receive their spiritual blessing while Israel is ap apostate. So that is in the early phase through Israel. You know all the, the, the examples of Abraham in uh, Romans and also in Galatians. So that is the evangel of the uncircumcision. Okay. And in the sonship phase, in the maturity phase, nations are blessed by the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 3. So that is right. applicable for the, for the sonship phase. Okay, second one. Let's look at the role of Israel. Uh, so the features, the role of Israel, the nations, the body of Christ, is founded upon or through Israel. Right. Okay. I got that written down right here. All right. <laughs> great, great. Yeah. And in the maturity phase in which we are now, the body of Christ is totally and completely independent from Israel. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Uh, let's look at the, the closeness of nations uh, to, to uh, uh, Israel's table. In the early stage, it, nations were guests at Israel's table, guests of the covenant of promise, uh, looking at Romans 9, 4, Ephesians 2, 12. I'm not going to mention the, the because uh, I mean it will be too fast. So I'm just going to mention the content and I will share the, the document with you guys. Um, and uh, also nations participated in Israel's spiritual goods. That was the early phase. The current phase is that nations are fellow relatives of God and nations are no debtors of Israel anymore. So that's the, the next one. Then we go to the position of nations. Nations were strangers in God's kingdom, Ephesians 2, 12. And nations now are fellow citizens in God's kingdom. Ephesians 2 verse 19. Character and stage of blessing. It was first, the blessing was first physical and earthly. Re recognize it? Look at the spiritual right. gifts of speaking yeah. in tongues, uh, etc. Right. Physical, Prophecy. sensory percept uh, per perceptible, and also physical. So it's, it's typically and earthly typically Israel and uh, now nations are let's see uh, sorry uh, it is now the blessings are spiritual and celestial yes All right, right next one next one um, the, let's look at the status of knowledge and faith it the earlier phase in the earlier phase the gospel of salvation was already known to the ecclesias in romans you see that you, you talk, he talks about salvation through the faith of jesus christ apart from law or works romans 3 21 as an example but now paul knew that the ecclesias believed and what they believed for he was there with them for a long time, for years. So he knew what they believed. Still, he prayed for God to give them a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him. Ephesians 1 verse 17. Why does he pray that to God while he already knows what they believed? Why? Because they had... Yes, they had, they had to make a shift, a shift in growth. That's what happened with the body of Christ also. That's why he prayed that, so that they would grow also in the realization of him 
and also as to get a spirit of wisdom and revelation. So therefore, also, let me read the piece, on hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love for all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks on your behalf, making mention in my prayer. That's Ephesians 1-2. Okay, let's look at the orientation of the Ecclesia. First, in the early stage, uh, it was Christ the firstborn among them. Romans 8, 29. They focused on Christ. Titus 2, 14. But now, they are, or we, are seated with Christ among the celestials. Ephesians 2. And for the purpose of that in the oncoming eons we will display God's overflowing riches of grace that's different that's a different level so let's look at the attitude of saints saints used to die for uh, die to sin saints died to sin it's still a, it's still true of course but now saints are dead to transgressions and sin Wow, if he, yeah. if Ephesians 2 verse 1 that's even more yeah, yeah. exactly so these are very important uh, you, it's very difficult to find them but they are there how about the walk of life by the saints and believers first in the early states they were abs abstaining from ceremonial pollutions uh, or with idols and p prostitution and what is strangled and blood. Look at Acts 15, verse 19, 20, what James uh, decreed. And Paul did that also, and he brought that message to the, to the saints, to the ecclesias, in that early stage. But then, now, saints are completely free to live as they want. No restrictions whatsoever. Colossians 2, verse 16, 20 through 22 very important Amen. this is a new shift again so look at the ed education look at the structure of the education F uh, first in the first stage there was extensive teaching about salvation justification conciliation and that was the of course the foundation to the body of Christ right exactly. uh, no how about now now there is no mention anymore in the in the prison epistles no mention of justification of or conciliation mention of righteousness only in connection with walk of life so yeah yeah so if justification is foundational for the body of Christ and it is then the letters that the letter to Ephesians cannot be intended for the BOC, the body of Christ, except if the early epistles are also intended for the body of Christ. Same exactly. group. Exactly. Same because group. When it, says, yeah. when it says in Ephesians that you are holy and flawless in God's sight, why is that? Why are we holy and flawless in exactly. God's sight? Because we're justified. Exactly. Because of that foundational teaching, and we believe that. So, those and early letters. Because of Jesus Christ's work not ours yeah, yeah. His faith. exactly but exactly on that note, I have to yeah pity but uh, oh, good so good to visit good to see you it brother very nice to see you guys. yeah likewise you enjoy the rest of your day yes enjoy you, you too bye bye yeah, bye bye take care brother all right so uh, this is very important to realize because this blows the whole teaching out of the water that the bar that the early letters of Paul uh, would uh, were not intended or not addressed to the body of Christ. No, of course they were addressed to the body of Christ. Obviously, okay. Let's look at the at the status of the education teaching. So first earlier teaching about justification and oh well it's um, a bit a bit the same and conciliation is the is the basis and condition of being holy and blameless before him and that's also Ephesians 1 4 but that refers to the early letters but the, in the prison epistles like we already established no mention of justification or conciliation conclusion the group to whom the prison epistles are addressed is the same as the group to whom 
uh, Paul's earlier epistles are addressed. So let's continue because now is an, an, an important one. The spiritual form of the Ecclesia. First, the early stage, the Ecclesia had an organized form. There were elders, there were right. de deacons. So it had an organized form. And uh, now, uh, le le let me continue with the early phase because it's the same chapter. Um, excluded members, so like the guy in 1 Corinthians 5, 5 who did his uh, stepmom, mom, remember? Yeah. That mm -hmm. Those excluded members, they would be comforted but not restored as a member. Why not restored as a member? Because Paul later on in 2 Corinthians 6, 17, he calls believers to get out of the church because the organization had allowed so many unbelievers. That's the logical result of silo thinking, silo mindset, sectarianism. That's the point. So that's why they have allowed, allowed so many unbelievers that, uh, that that house became corrupt, so to speak. So now there is not a single sign of thought that uh, the Ecclesia is anything but an organism, spiritually speaking. It's certainly not an organization now. Right, okay. And yeah. let's continue with the spiritual form, but as a metaphor. Because in the early stage... Uh, according to 1 Timothy 3.15, the Ecclesia was compared to a house. That's a metaphor for organized form. And also a declared pillar and basis for the truth. But now, in this stage, in 2 Timothy 2.19-21, it's the same house but now contains vessels of honor and dishonor and it has now become a large house and is only used as the background of the call to get out of it. So Paul declares that if then, if anyone should clean himself from this, he shall be an object of honor, being sanctified, useful to the owner, made ready for every good work. 2 Timothy 2.21 You see what's happened. So the house was a small house. It became a large house when Paul was in prison. It was still a house, but a corrupt house. And now that house has been dissolved. Because now since Paul died and the, and the word of God has been completed by him, now the Ecclesia is truly an uh, organism, Mature. a spiritual organism and not an organization anymore. It's but, not a religion. And what sorry it's not a religion yes but it's it's, it's yeah but a religion is as a house it's like and an it's not of the flesh. Not exactly of the flesh. exactly a religion is like an institute an institution yeah, and that's institution. and that's not what it is now so imp no. very important let's look at the level of maturity of the ecclesia uh, in uh, the early stage the ecclesia is still a minor with the promise of maturity and th that is uh, done in 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter. There, Paul has also announced that the maturity would come. And the things that belong to the minor were the visible gifts of healing, of speaking in tongue, of miracles, etc. These gifts uh, appeal to the soul, not the spirit. That is why, in addition to faith, uh, expectation and love sensory perception also gets to be more emphasized in these letters addressed to the then still minor ecclesia but now the promised maturity has come all our sons sons predesignated for this position the late epistles no longer speak of the soul now that the phase of minority is over, the saints are expected to be interested in and focused on spiritual or invisible gifts. So now in this secret administration, only the higher transcendent invisible spiritual gifts are uh, dispensed and applicable. And those are 
Faith. Expectation and love. Exactly. The greatest of these is love. It's love. Amen. That's it. So it is clear that there is a distinction between the early stage and the current stage. Let's look at the state of the body of Christ, individual or joint to total. The body was known before as a metaphor. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13. But still there was a distinction. First the Jew, then the Greek. There was a yeah. distinction. There was uh, the, the spiritual uh, relationship of members to each other were individual members of each other. Look, of, look at uh, Romans 12, verse Romans 12, 5. 5. Yes, exactly, yes. They were individual members of each other. That is another situation than now. Because now the body has become a joint body. Ephesians 3, verse 6. This is the secret. The wall of partition has been removed, has been raised. So Christ is now seen as the head. It Earlier, Christ was never mentioned as the head of the body, the joint body. It was never a joint body earlier. It, we were members of each other. You see the point. It's, so it's, there were still the classes of the Jews and the Greeks. So there were still both believers in the body of Christ, but the Jews were still above them. Yes. Now he's read that. Now he's now he's the head of the joint one. Exactly. So the Jews and the exactly. We renounced that, and we're now all believers in Christ. Yes. And you will okay. see later that Christ was uh, in the early stage. He was the head of the man. And the man was the head of the woman. Right, right. But now Christ is the head of the There's joint no body. You see, yes, no male female anymore. Very important distinction. So, wow. yeah, Woo. yeah, yeah. So That's this is not. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see. Um, so in the early stage, Christ was not yet seen as the head, right? Let's look at dependency. Same thing. So early, uh, earlier members were dependent on one another and now now members are dependent on christ as the head first uh, members uh, or bodies are a, were a temple of the holy spirit still are but now members are part of the of a joint body which itself is growing into a holy temple in the lord that's different Okay. So we're all the temple of God. It's not just I'm the temple of exactly. God. The exactly. Of God. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's the same. Is that the same as living stones being built that Peter talked about in his letter? Living stones? Yeah, living no. stones being built as a, as a habitation. For no. God. No, because that, uh, the moment you use stones, is immediately a metaphor for a building, right. even if it is yeah. a metaphor. And that's why it's important to mention these when people read right. it. Yes. They get them confused. Exactly. They get them mixed up, and this is why we have problems. Yeah, true. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, of course, the relevant period, the secret administration had not yet been revealed back then, and now there is the unveiling, unveiling of the secret administration, which, which was hit from the eons in God. So let's look at the construction process. Uh, the Ecclesia back then was not yet in the secret administration when Paul's earlier teaching was received, but the Ecclesia was transferred and readjusted to the secret administration along with the previous teaching on salvation, uh, justification, and conciliation. Very important. So. It was it, there was a readjustment to this present administration, and now the saints are thought about the why of these matters. Not only that they are true, but why they are true, and also to participate in the administration of the fullness of the eras, to head up all in the Christ, all that is in the heavens and that which is on earth. That is now known since Paul unveiled it in Ephesians. So it's very important to realize that the same teachings were readjusted and transferred in this current administration. So, um, everything clear up till now? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, have a, I have a question yeah. though. What's yes. the difference between the administration of grace 
and the administration of the secret. But that's good. happening in Ephesians and things like that. Yeah, good question. The administration of grace is, I see, I see more as a general umbrella term for, for the whole, right. yeah, for the whole uh, ministry of Paul since it starts, since right. he was severed, until the snatching away. That is the administration of grace as an umbrella term. But the secret administration w did not start yet in the beginning of Paul's ministry. It started, uh, I think it starts, it started when Paul died. That's when it started. Not in the prison epistles yet, because I see that more as an announcement of the teachings and, and of what is going on in the maturity phase. So that is what Paul uh, wrote down led by holy spirit that's how i see it why because look at the house look at the 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 uh, the spiritual form of the ecclesia it was still a large house and that is not normal now it is not even close to a house it's an organism everyone is practically isolated so we have a communion ship and fellowship with each other spiritually only that's the point. So, uh, yeah, it's not through the institution. Sorry? Basically, the institution's been done away with. Exactly. And it's not, and, and it's not through all, all the rituals and things like this. It's always yeah. in spirit. It's not of the flesh. It's always of the spirit. Exactly. Yeah, yes. We've moved on from yeah. the flesh, man's uh, institutional exactly. uh, definition of yeah. what God is doing. And Which that's how to begin it that way. It had to begin that. It had to begin that way. Why? So that this, because wow. they couldn't because they could not understand these things, and also because Israel was still in play. Exactly. That's the main. Yes. That's the main re reason. But yes. they also could not understand these things to do. To, like things with justification and conciliation, you need time to learn and to grow. Exactly. And also, the nation of Israel was still in place. So it's yes. All, it's all these. It's all these. It's all these things that you can see. Yes. Like the gift of tongues. Of the exactly. Gift of they but all appeal. That, yeah. that, 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 but that does not mean that the Book of Romans is not for us, because we get justification from the Book of Romans yeah. and baptism into the death and judgment and resurrection yes. of Christ. So, which is what justifies us from our sins. Exactly. So some of the things that were prevalent and visible back then in the early phase are not applicable. Simply not applicable anymore. That's it. It's it's because not moved on to maturity. exactly moved on. those those God things. Exactly. Those things were part of the immature phase, the, ch the childhood phase. That, it's that simple. So yeah, some is. things had to be abandoned. It's that simple. Okay. And it served a purpose for us. Yes, exactly. The full, yeah. That's the full stature that Paul's talking about. In yes. Wow. Uh, my, I think my... my I, we keep going now. Yeah. Uh, uh, do do you do you guys hear uh uh, uh the other yeah, two? That, that's me just going bloop bloop. That's me just, it's uh, just kicking me out and then it's putting me back. Yes. Just, yes. Just, just okay. 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 I was saying something. I went. I went bye bye. Yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. Then, got it. All right. All right. I'm glad it's not with me. It's all of us. okay. So well, bro. the next one. And I already mentioned that in the in the talk with uh, uh, about the snatching away with cat. I think that's the relationship to salvation. In the early stage, saints are saved by grace and out of grace. But now, saints are saved or also saved. I have to say it's because this is an addition. They are also saved for grace, meaning to display. God's rich grace, of course, ultimately to the celestials and receive great blessing from it themselves. And what you just said, the ultimate grace. Yes. Which leads to the ultimate grace. Yes. It starts in a certain place, but it grows and expands. Exactly. It becomes the ultimate. And yes. now it's for the celestials. Both realms are now involved. Exactly. In yes, exactly. And for grace means to display, to give the grace also to others, to bless others with the grace of God. That's the point. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, the relationship to sonship. In the previous stage, 
uh, the ecclesia, the members of the body of Christ, were predestined to be conformed to the image of the Son of God, Romans 8, 29. But now, they are predestined to take the place of a son. Ephesians 1, 5. You see the difference? So I'm wow. going to I'm going to repeat it. The saints yeah, earlier the saints were predestined to be conformed to the image of the Son of God. And right. now the saints are predestined to take the place of a son. Of a son. Where? Wow. In the celestials, okay. of course. Okay. For him. Yeah. This is just like when you're trying to learn how to ride a bike when you're a kid and you have the little stabilizers when you're a little kid, but now when you're a full grown man, yeah. you can ride the bike without the stabilizer. Frankly. Exactly. That's exactly. exactly what it's like. Yes, exactly. Yes. The stabilizers were the son of God <laughs> as as a as a metaphor, yes. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the next one. Uh let's see where we are. Oh yeah. Okay, so the next one is the relationship to Hebrew scriptures. Ah, yes. In the earlier phase, epistles contained quite some reference to the Hebrew scriptures. Why? Because God was still dealing with Israel as a nation, relatively, of course. Because, of course, everything was already known that Israel would be, uh, would be blind, of course. But now, God revealed secrets secrets through Paul that were still hidden during the Acts period which is logical since God was still dealing with Israel as a nation but these secrets now pertain to the nations where whereas there's no distinction anymore between Jews and nations or Greeks yeah, yes yeah. so this is clear next one the level interesting one the level of expectation in the earlier stage, uh, the expectation of the Ecclesia was not really known nor perceived at the time. Listen to this. There was only the snatching away, but no purpose. Only change in an instant. Our body would change in an instant onto immortality. Yes, amen. But not for what purpose. So actually, there was no concrete expectation so what was not yet known also is uh, uh, and that's also a kind of an expectation what was not yet known is a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him was not yet known also to perceive what is the expectation of his calling was not yet known in the Ecclesia to perceive what are the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment among the saints not yet known at that time so now is known what is known we are to participate in the administration of the fullness of the era or the complement of the era to head up all in the Christ all that is in the heavens and that which is on the earth the next one is that in the eons to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus also what I already mentioned, Paul prays for the eyes of our heart to be enlightened, for us to perceive what is the expectation. You see, then they can perceive in the next phase, uh, to perceive what is the expectation of God's uh, calling and what the riches of the glory of the enjoyment of his allotment among the saints are, so to speak. So Paul, Paul's prayer shows that, amongst others, this expectation and these riches were not yet perceived by the saints you recognize that okay next one uh, if, let's see oh yeah yeah uh, the calling of the ecclesia to what purpose first there was the preparation comparison of earthly and heavenly okay. bodies a uh, secret about change in an instant uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and snatching away 1 Thessalonians 4 but not yet for what purpose and now the secret is revealed the purpose is to be seated among the celestials to make known and demonstrate to them God's multicolored wisdom and grace you see God's wisdom do you see God's wisdom that God kept the essential things that were not for Israel to be known he kept them hidden 
and he only showed the things that Israel could know. Learn like our bodies will be changed. Yes, of course, yeah. But then, and also that eventually all bodies will change. Everybody will come uh, become immature, uh, immature, immortal. Sorry. So immortal. yeah. So so this is very. This is a very great example to me for of God's wisdom. How he concealed things until the right timing. Okay. So next one, the ministry of Paul. In the ex in the ex period, also Paul's oral ministry, often quoting from Hebrew scriptures. In his oral ministry, you could see a display of great knowledge of the Hebrew scriptures. Look at uh, Acts 13 verse 12 as an example. Paul preached only the word of God. And there's a, I have put a lot of um, uh, passages in Acts. But now, in this time, there are new revelations. They were not announced orally by Paul, but by means of the letters, the prison letters. The new revelations in Paul's prison or, uh, or uh, perfection letters, not through this or his oral ministry, such as during the Acts period. Some passages in agreement were in agreement with the Hebrew scriptures, yes, still in the, in the late scriptures, but most of them are completely new. Questions? Can I continue? Well, there's one thing I'd like to say. So to those who would say that we're not going to be snatched away, they believe in the expectation in the heavens and the celestials of what we're going to do, but they don't understand how we're going to get there. Yeah. They believe in the destination, but they don't understand the vehicle in which, yeah. in which God is going to use to get us there. Yes. And then, no, no, I will turn it around. The snatching away is a, is a revelation to us and to everyone who reads it, but it doesn't show where we're going after that. So where the people yeah. who are snatched away right. are going after that. So they might as well come back with yeah. Christ to the earth, yes, or they might as well uh, continue their journey with Christ to the heavens, to the celestials. So the the point the no, I don't think so. Nope, he will not be seen. That's what I, I'm trying to get to. Is a, it's a secret. Yes. So the world is a secret to them. Yeah. Our disappearance or our taking off this earth will not be known. No. It, it will be. It will through the media. Yeah. Being some sort of alien abduction or some kind of some. Or the rapture. Yes. It's yeah. Not the rapture. Yeah. And yeah. Why, why because and the people that are left who thought they were going in the rapture and it doesn't happen that way are going to be suspect they're going to think it hasn't happened yet but this is very secretive yeah and that's what is uniquely ours why and the beer and it has to yeah. be given exactly the i find that i i find it ironic that some people will say that the snatching ways for israel that they'll go into the clouds and then they'll come back down onto the earth okay the reason why they say that is because they yeah. don't understand, understand paul the reason why we're being snatched away into the clouds is so we can go into the heavens, so we can go into the celestial. Yes. If we take that out, then logically we have to go back down to the earth. But yeah. that's because they're ignoring Paul, because they don't understand it. Exactly. Right. And they're trying to yoke that event with uh, the writings of, of the, the apostles, of the Gospels. Yeah. And bringing in Matthew twenty four thirty and trying to connect uh, other comings or other uh, depictions of his coming, also in Revelation 5 and in different places where, yes and they're tying it all together which i was doing myself yeah and trying to see uh, me too. what's yeah. unique about this first lesson 15 what's the difference between you know what makes that ours distinctly yes ours. exactly and you explain this because they say now now look trumpets uh, uh the shout uh, those are things that are significant to God assembling Israel before Him. Yes. Those were things used. Exactly. So why does, you know, this is where I kind of like, yeah. all right, I can see the connection there, but there's something uniquely distinct. Yes. This is why I, I, I held on to, or I was trying to consider Revelation chapter 12, verse 5, as being our snatching away, because it is Christ and we're joined to Christ. So Christ is being. 
that's the way the term is used in, in the concorded that were the, you know the child the male child yeah and to his throne yeah so it's so thick that is so different than what you know the way it's depicted in first Thessalonians which yeah. has it sort of familiar uh, to to the second coming yes you know second Thessalonians you see the gathering together they, they are talking about Christ coming to the earth yeah. in flame so that this is where this is where the problems are coming in and, and the confusion that's coming in true so that's why so this is why this is why we're talking about this yeah because true these things are being uh, misapplied, misinterpreted, True. Uh, and and there's a lot of bickering and fighting about all this. So, yeah. Anyway, well, but I like where you're going with this. This is very important what you're saying because it is distinguishing us apart. Yes. As, yes. Sure. Go ahead. So I have a suggestion to stop all the cutting out and stuff like that. I can invite you to a stream yard in like two in like two minutes, and then um, we can do it. Okay. So we can continue on this in StreamYard, so we can avoid this. Yes. Okay, but uh, but then uh, uh, give me give me some time to to edit a uh, to to uh, arrange oh. the thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You you can send me the recording if you want, and I'll do it for for you if you want. Or if you know how to do it, uh, because then I'll have to it. send it back to you. you, so if, you uh, if you know how to do it, then you can do it. But I'm going to send you both the invite on the private messages for the Streamyard link, and then we can avoid this. So yes. Yeah, and and I'll be able to share my screen as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, now we continued on another platform. Um, let's see, okay, so uh, just one remark about the snatching away. Uh, well, I already mentioned it, but it's very important to realize oh, also- going crazy on me now, dang it. Something happens? Oh, I see that uh, you are fr frozen, Fred, a little bit. Do you also see that, Liam, or not? Yeah, I see it too. His connection's gone. Okay. It's there very. Are. It's lost both. the the sound is no. The connection is still very weak. Well, the connection is fine with me and you, Pierre. I think it's just Fred. Yeah. Sir, maybe me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. let's continue. Now, yeah, looks better. So what I wanted to say is the terminology, snatching away. I mean, snatching away can only, to me, be done in that great speed, because it will be a great speed. You grab some, some body and you snatch his, his body out of, uh, out of the, uh, or where he was, or uh, their position. I mean, if you, are, if, if you have a, a body of blood and flesh, I don't know, but it can be really... You're, you're gonna die. I mean, yeah. you, you're not surviving that. That's what I think. So this no. cannot for that, this cannot be happening to the Israelites in the, in the future. It's not possible because they are, they, their, body are, their bodies are not changed yet. That's the point. Which well, is why you have to be glorified first and then you're snatched away. Yes. However, there's one... Uh, exception if you want someone like philip the apostle one of the 12 yes he was he was taken snatched away but it not really snatched away but the same word was used and he was snatched away horizontally so he he ministered to the ethiopian eunuch and then he was snatched away and then all of a sudden he was in samaria right so that is also so possible what kind of experience yeah. So, what kind of experience was that? A fast ride, or was to, he, to me he how, the way a portal physically, yes, physically. exactly physical. the uh, way I see it is through a portal. Portal, a portal. Yes. Wow. Yeah. But okay. anyway, so just okay. to to elaborate a little bit about snatching away. Now you're going to okay. be snatched away to the clouds. I mean, come on, with that speed, you're not gonna survive it. Let's continue. Uh, we <laughs> already talked. <laughs> about no. no the ministry of paul next one is the ministry of the saints let's take a look here so first in the first stage the previous uh, phase 
there was a sensory perceptible display of spiritual gifts like prophesying speaking in tongues graces of miracle healings etc first corinthians 12 of course and now there is no display anymore of sensory perceptible uh, perceptible spiritual gifts but only the non perceptible spiritual gifts i.e faith expectation love the invisible ones look at trophimus trophimus was infirm and there was no miracle healing in second timothy 4 verse 20 as an example so paul healed people with a handkerchief he, he sent handkerchief to people when they touched that handkerchief they were healed mm -hmm. now yep. in in the later uh, latter part when he was in prison his good friend trophimus was sick and he was uh, he could not be healed let him drink no. some wine or i think timothy was that wine yes. for his uh, that's good for his stomach etc so yeah. uh that's a that's a clear so sign they healing there's no more healing going down exactly and this situation now Why? was already announced by paul in first corinthians 13 when he made mention of the facts that the fact that prophesying etc will be done away with when the maturity has come ah, so well the maturity key. now has come the boc in its sonship phase it has come from the epistle of ephesians onwards let's now look at uh, the question why adjustment or you could say readjustment was in fact necessary uh, the ecclesias were originally from teachings based on the faith of, uh, from abraham right abraham so it right. was based on the faith of you could say faith of abraham but abraham was just used as a metaphor as an uh, analogy an it was it was example, in fact yeah. based on the faith of jesus christ right and abraham's seed also as the stars in the sky genesis 15 5, uh, 5. abraham's faith reckoned for righteousness romans 4 3 romans 9 24 references to israel's new covenant first corinthians 11 25 servants and distributors of the new covenant even if it was used as a figure of speech second corinthians 3 verse 6 the, mm. we are not dispensers of the new covenant we are not priests no but it was no. used as a figure of speech in second corinthians 3 verse 6 but now the ecclesias so, so they had to be transferred into the truth that is especially intended for the body of christ now so reception of spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the realization of him so that the eyes of your hearts are enlightened to perceive what is the expectation of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his allotment among the saints are so you see now a difference a totally wow. total difference in the organism totally. so it there is yes. this is a different phase so next point is transcendent the, it's yeah, transcendent. Exactly. It's so far above. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go now to the ministry by Paul through others and by others in the Ecclesias. So by Paul through others is hey Keth. <laughs> um, I'm I'm toggling between this and a document. So uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so now let me no. Let me start with back then in the previous era mm -hmm. first all five uh we, they uh, what was they called ministries uh ah but anyway five supernatural ministries were operational offices offices, no, offices you could say offices yes yeah uh um, there was yeah, another I word i always had in my head there's another word there yes is another yes word. another word but anyway five um yeah this no no five ministries and supernatural they were dispensed supernaturally that's very important to remember in the previous era so they were apostles prophets teachers pastors and evangelists evangelists yes yep. but then in the next phase in the time of the prison epistles evangelists sh um, uh, and shepherds and teachers were still operational so as a special ministry gift 
and they took these guys took the prison epistles of Paul and they did, did exactly what Paul did with the Hebrew scriptures in the previous administration he, they proclaimed orally these truths before the ecclesias <coughs> so when Paul was in prison thus when an ecclesia accepted and adopted this teaching it was adjusted or you could say readjusted it then contained the one common faith for the body of Christ pursuant to Ephesians 4 verse 13 but uh, and also if you look if you compare the five ministries by then the supernatural ministries with now the second stage the second stage was that the apostles and the prophets became obsolete because they were the foundation layers so the teachers pastors and evangelists were still operational as a supernatural ministry as service to the mm. ecclesias that needed to be adjusted but then listen to this now after the word of God was totally completed by Paul and that was done exactly like maybe one day before he died it's very very close to his death these ministries became also obsolete so that we now only have students of scripture f uh, who have a passion for sharing consoling or heralding I will repeat sharing is more like uh, you can compare that with teaching consoling you can compare that with pastoring and heralding you can compare that with evangelizing so does that mean uh, when Paul says that I do not permit the women to be teaching so is that not active now no uh, no that's not active and even no. and even go, back then in the previous no. era neither no. male nor female but exactly. that but I know that Kath and every woman they don't feel comfortable really teaching they don't feel comfortable it's not their thing you know I know that I know that and also by the way and I think that is a very good explanation of Martin that um, uh, uh, women if you look at the role of women and men women need to be protected men need to need to what is the word uh, they need to catch the darts the 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 the, the what is the the arrows yeah. the fiery the arrows. arrows yes of the of the oppo um, the of the opposers uh, let's say mm -hmm. men need to catch that not women women need to stand behind the man and men need to catch all the the enemy darts that's the point so uh, that's why it's not the roles are clear in that sense but okay, okay but, if, but if you were a woman to, to today just like Catherine you were to herald the good news so mm -hmm. if someone was to go into Timothy and say well you're a woman Catherine so you can't be doing that that's not no. for us now no no no, no. right yes no no everyone can do it now because there is no spiritually no distinction between man and woman slave and free and etc you'll have a fight on your hands there because people are religious and they're caught up in tradition and yep. they can't break from it yes so you're going to have issues with it and they'll say wait a minute it's written right here so <laughs> trying to explain the transcendent right. exactly you know because they're still stuck in the flesh, flesh. They're still right. stuck in the flesh. Exactly. so that's what we contend with today <laughs> yeah. we're dealing with immaturity yep and believers christianity yep. as an example yes and so that's why our, we always have these contention Yep. Contentions well, uh, I I used to associate the word Christian with believer, but for a long time, for years now, I don't do it anymore because Christians are unbelievers. Exactly. Yes, they are. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's continue. Yeah. Uh, ahead, so them. this is clear, right? <laughs> Paul as a prisoner for what purpose? Let's see. A uh, prisoner. He, he, he was first a prisoner for the expectation of Israel okay. Acts 28 20 and now and, and then that? after that he was a prisoner of Christ Jesus for the Gentiles so just to okay. to know that uh, how was the news we are almost at the end how was the news about the adjustment dis distributed so it was uh, when Paul wrote his epistles uh, he gave it to the evangelists, uh, teachers, pastors, 
they dispensed that orally to the ecclesia and Paul then regularly received he received news of an ecclesia that had been adjusted so he heard of this because so he heard of this because he was no longer visibly personally among them it's also interesting because then now he has brought into a situation where he heard news about the adjustment of ecclesias very interesting okay so the place of resurrection uh uh here we go so no no, no this is very simple very simple in the previous era so in the previous phase of the ecclesia uh, resurrection was more uh, presented as a phenomenon Romans 1 4 as a phenomenon but now Philippians is talking about the outer resurrection as an attitude to life so that's that is a different because outer resurrection in Philippians 3 11 is the f a only place in scripture where you find that word ex anastasin outer resurrection so uh, that is an earlier resurrection than the former or the first resurrection mentioned in, in Revelation 20 okay wow. so the position of Christ Jesus also very important I already mentioned it first in the in the my minor phase of the body of Christ he was the head of every man and the man was the head of the woman first Corinthians 11 3 but now Christ is the head of the body the joint body and the head of the entire universe and I put some uh, verses in Philippians uh, uh, sorry in Colossians and Ephesians Wow okay the next one there are also common features of course common features uh, the body of Christ and I well I only mentioned one and I put some uh, passages one baptism in spirit it was already applicable in the early phase and it is still applicable in this maturity phase and the last one is surface surface in terms of now in this maturity phase transcendent growth love in realization and delicacy so as to test what matters and be sincere Philippians 1 verse 10 minority phase is over only worthy service of maturity remains held together by love of course Colossians 3 wow. 14 so this is the document uh, that that compared the uh, minority phase of the body of Christ with the with the maturity phase of the body okay, of Christ so what's happening here is some believers are taking uh, the maturity phase and they're just sticking to that they're ignoring all the yeah. immature stuff but exactly the process of that you're, you're ignoring justification and conciliation and baptism into the death and tomb and the resurrection of Christ and the snatching away Mm -hmm. which is all integral all those exactly. things are foundational so exactly all the 13 uh, uh, the uh, the epistles of, of paul are for us but yes yeah. you can divide them in, in a way of immaturity and maturity but they're all for us exactly mm -hmm. and let me reiterate we already talked about it but still reiterate about our expectation yes in the previous era in the previous phase of the body of christ the childhood phase there was mentioned of change of our body there was mention make mention of the snatching away but not to what purpose and that was unveiled later in Ephesians Philippians etc so that is very important to uh, to remember God is wise and he concealed some information in the previous phase it was not necessary to for everyone to know that especially not for israel because they would become very jealous right in that sense <laughs> so this is what these this is what these men are missing yeah the maturity stage they're they're calling it israel snatching away but they don't understand the purpose behind it and if they yeah. did they'd say oops that's not Israel's exactly away. exactly because now they know what the purpose is behind it yes so they, they're not moving forward so they just blank make a statement say this is this this is written to Israel that's not our snatching away y'all need to just get off of that and yeah. I mean they're 
they're adamant about this exactly stuff. yeah but you just explained it clearly very understandable yeah. in the phases in the adjustments exactly and how god is adjusting us yes. to secret information that exactly. really is designated for those that that God gives it to yeah. in regard to faith, exactly. faith of Christ, who are who've come into the realization of the truth. Yes, and that's something coming to the true faith, the belief. True belief is yeah. given. Our yeah. faith of Christ is given us. That puts us in the body of Christ. Yes, basically. Yes, and brings us along, and we see that early minor stages. But now we, as believers, move forward, move ahead, exactly. and see the the secret, and that's only designated for a particular group. Which actually shrinks small, you know, and makes it smaller, yeah, right? Yeah, the, yeah. the body of Christ. Yes. So, so Christianity is this big, massive thing, and they're all minors, and they're all doing the institution, and they're doing the prophesying and the tongues. You can go to the assemblies of God, and you can go to church of God. I got them all around me, all over the place. And, and uh, as well. Yeah. yeah, and you got the New Age Christians. You got all this religion going on, but nobody's moving on to maturity and understanding. A celestial calling, which is a higher transcendent calling. Oh, but which is only for us. Go but, ahead. No, no, but, but I have a different. I, I hear you. Go. But I have yes. a different view on. Uh, I think I, if I understood you correctly, uh, it looked like you said that the Christians are more like in the body of Christ in the immature phase. No. no. Okay. No. Okay. I don't, I don't. I don't mean they're the body of Christ. Oh, the okay. institution. Okay, they're yeah. reading scripture as yeah. claiming it as theirs. Yes, but they're yes, falsely true. oh yeah uh, what, what, apprehending yes. the scriptures. They they and play, they're taking it into the flesh. They turn it into spiritual reality truths into yes. carnal things. Yes, and they've created kingdoms for themselves on this earth. Yes, and true. and they think they're doing God's work exactly. Yeah, uh, and they're and they're and good things like they start ministries, food ministries, yeah. looking after the poor, the yeah. homeless, all these wonderful. And they will and they know. will be rewarded for that at the great white throne. Yes, for their acts. For yes, at, at the great acting. white throne. Yes, they yes, will be rewarded. We're yeah. not talking. That's not where we're at. We're exactly. trying to move to what God has called for the celestial call, exactly. which is Paul's, which was what Paul was eventuality of his ministry brought us into this other yes. realm it's another yes. realm of, yes. of faith yes. what christians you do you see how god has concealed this in the world yes. yeah. so it's like there's so many layers to this you know like you're like there's the average crowd christian who's a trinitarian and they believe in hell and things like this and they don't rightly divide they're not a believer and even if you do rightly divide but you still believe in hell or the trinity you're still not a believer and it goes on and on free will the immortality of the soul until finally you get to where we're at and we're like this just a yeah. tiny little group compared <laughs> yeah. to the masses of people yeah this is yeah. yes that is exactly it that's yeah. exactly what's happening and yep. that's why when you listen to people like this rodney scott or clyde or all these people who are keeping it terrestrial and they're not moving they're not given the whole story so really they're deceiving people and they're not true believers yeah they claim to be but it well the true believers i think that clyde except uh, clyde, clyde is yeah, clyde is, I think that he, clyde we, is we a believer about that earlier. Clyde yes is a clyde believer. he is a believer and he yeah. does believe in the celestial yeah uh, yeah exactly administration yeah. so yeah. Yeah. but as far as these other guys and there's many of them other than the two i mentioned but yeah. still yeah and and that's that to me i think is is the work of Satan confusing, bringing that spirit of confusion. So. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and that's why you we have to study because we have to be aware of, of the slight deceptions. There's so many out there leading people astray who are weak yeah. in their faith, yeah. Yeah. who are easily taken captive. I mean, and so that's what our role is to tr try to bring them into the fullness, of, the full stature of what, yeah. we, what Christ has brought us into. So yes, anyway. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's incredible. We have a lot of work. Oh yeah, yeah that was that, that was a <laughs> great which, uh, talk there, Pierre. You did a great. Yes, job. I was great just job. fixing to say uh, thank you, Bravo, uh, buddy, because that was that was necessary. Yeah, all that information and that distinction is so clear. You you laid it down. You did the work, man, and and I think we need to continue to uh, affirm that. Uh, do you yeah, have that article? Repeated. You can. Yes, just keep repeating it and, and getting it in ourselves because really it's so important because it is, yes. that completes the Word of God for us. That yes. completes it. 
because this well, is Paul, a topic that no one really talks uh, about. So uh, right, it's just necessary. Gosh, I'm, yeah, I got excited, man, hearing this. I'm like, wow, this is it, because this was the whole purpose of us getting together today, me and Liam. Yeah. We're trying to tackle some of these but, false but teachings. This is and also, you know it, and you know I've talked about it. Go ahead. Yeah, but this is also a, to me a clear um, indication that something did change in Acts yes. 28, 28. So you see the point? Because right. Acts, 20, 20, yeah. Acts 28, 28 is indeed the marking point between the previous era and the current era in that sense. Not, not exactly, you know what I mean, because the real marking yeah. point is Paul's death. Paul's death. Because that was the moment wow. that the word of God was completed. And that happened at the end of 2 Timothy uh, 4. That's when Paul so asked for uh, the... I have contended the, the ideal con contest. Yes. I have kept the faith. Yes, but also Paul asked Timothy to bring him the cloak. That's how it was translated. The cloak. Mm -hmm. A. E. Noct said a traveling cloak even. No one said traveling, if you look in the Greeks. It says cloak. And a cloak is in reality a cover. It can be a cover for the body, but Paul didn't need a cover for the body. No, it was a cover for the parchments that he was also mentioning. The parchments. So Timothy had wow. to bring to him the parchments and the cover. So I think that Paul was w among the first ones who uh, used, the, wow. used the book form as, as for scripture not the scroll anymore well, but the book form that, uh, yeah yes, i think so paul was among the first weather one. weather travel it's the and covering too it's the covering it's the covering he kept, yeah. he kept a secret he kept a the, secret the kupa the kupa what is the yeah. atonement the covering yeah which makes sense <laughs> considering that he was it's the, the war of god he was the apostle that God chose to reveal this truth. So when he dies, that's God saying, okay, I'm done with this now. That's complete. Yeah. Because that marks his death. You know, if Paul was still alive, then it means that God would have something to say through Paul. But yeah. because he's dead, that means that's it. It's been completed. And what is also important yes. to realize is that um, as long as God's word was not entirely completed, there was still sometimes some supernatural uh, gifts necessary you see because the word mm -hmm. was not complete yet so as long as yeah. that piece was missing it had to be filled in in an incomplete way by supernatural gifts miracles whatever but all these things were incomplete the uh, prophecies were incomplete you see so the moment the word of God was completed those supernatural visible things were not needed anymore it was yeah. a temporal expression, a temporal expression until yeah. the, the completed. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's him. But people use that today, actually. Yeah. They, they think yeah, they true. still exist. Yeah, and true. that's what and and so people profit. You, and, They're and, profiting off yeah, them. Yeah. You, so now you realize how fake everything is in <laughs> church. It's yeah. totally yeah. fake. Yeah. They, it it's is. like It's like I mean, little children playing with little pots and pans in their little kitchen you know they play they play, play, they toys, play little, as little, if they are cooking food you know it's all fake yeah it's all fake oh it's all of the soul like yeah. like you said before it's so, all of the flesh it's all of the imagination yeah. yep yeah yep yeah and Which it's very sad that, out of that comes a variety of imaginations vain imaginations like new age when they start mixing the two yeah. you know when muhammad came on the scene around the what seventh century sixth century you know they said well this is the new revelation but the revelation of right. from god yeah. stopped at paul but now they want to start a new one and this is how this other religions have come in through all this the sons of right. god actually operating through the exactly. kaaba in mecca and through all these different things these point of references of supernatural you know if a stone falls out of heaven and land somewhere here in the you know in the future people are going to take up and say this is no, they're going to worship it yep. yeah. yes they're going to build something physical. around it they're going to it's yeah. physical because they can see yes because they're it's still supposed to carnal. Be it's spiritual it's blind to the flesh it's things oh, the spirit, which yep. only comes to us for the faith that's given to us 
Yeah. They don't Amen. have the faith, which is why they don't understand these things. True. What does he say? You're yet carnal? I can't communicate because I, I'm giving you milk. You, you can't take the meat. You can't understand yeah. what it is. I'm. And that is to the Hebrews. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is to the Hebrews, oh, but man. the Hebrews they will have their share because the Hebrews yeah. is a letter for the, especially for the end times. Everything, listen to yes. this. I don't know if you realize this, but everything that comes after Philemon, after Paul's yeah. letters, is for the believers out of Israel in the end times. Wow! Isn't that interesting? Yes, so, it is. So Paul's letters end cool. with the snatching away. Right, because that message is gone, and you yes. can see where it transitions into end time. We're back to Israel. We're yes. back to faith and works, performance, religion, yeah. uh, uh, Messiah. Yeah, who's the true Messiah? So uh, there's going to be those who believe in Jesus, yeah, and Yeshua. And if you oh, look and at the, the, and Israel, we talked about Israel, the yeah. Zionists, yeah, and then the true Jews, yeah, who are saying yeah. Messiah puts us back in the land. So we know all these things are happening. They're all They're so converging. Much They're all so converging much. now. So we know we're close because we see, because of their prophecies, Jeremiah, yes. Isaiah, Zechariah, yes. Zephaniah, yeah, yeah. and all of them are speaking of this time when the, the, the Lord is about to return. Yes, and if you look and, at uh, the if you look at the letters, the epistles after mm -hmm. Philemon, if, yes. you look, if you look at their theme, especially they are uh, centered around the end times. And around right. all the issues I'm within the end times. Well. Yeah. So I'm when I learn when I learn the two evangels, I said I tell people I go uh, when you read James, just act like you're in the tribulation. Then yeah. read it. Exactly. Exactly. Then read it. Yes. And you go <gasps> Hebrews yeah, also. Went, oh my gosh! Yeah. I'm in the tribulation. Yes. And, and it makes so much sense. sense. It makes and so much sense, especially yeah. when you go into First John and he's talking yes, about God exactly. love. So you need to yes. love one another because that's yeah. what you have to do during the. Yeah. That's what I was going to yeah. say. You yeah. exactly. Look because at the and hints. It's a command. It's not only yeah. to do it, but it's a commandment. Yeah. It's like you got to do this yeah. because it's so vital to our existence yeah. and our survival. You yeah. know, so your performance is very, very, very important, and you're being watched yeah. because it's you're worse than a murderer. You're considered a murderer if you hate your brother. Yeah. That's some heavy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Man. So this is the different evangel. You see that clearly, a different message, a different spirit, Cute. like so. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Makes so much sense. So, that's why that's why he named him Paul, because it means pause. Pause. Onto pause onto the pause. onto the kingdom yes. of the uh, well onto the evangel of the kingdom. Exactly. So pause onto it. He's Up. going to unpause it when we're snatched away. Exactly. Now yeah. God's dealings with Israel are on a pause. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Okay, yeah. that made perfect sense to me. Now I have the ammunition to deal with the acts of the Even John in John's letter. <laughs> so even John's calling them little children, little children, little children, like little kids. I'm writing, I'm, I am writing to you, little children, seeing that your sins have been forgiven you through his name. See, forgiveness of sins. See, that's a whole another evangel. That's another. Uh, we don't have forgiveness of sins. Nope. Nope. We're justified. 